Hey, doing map your map investments. So the talk of the town is GameStop. I mean, GameStop, it, it's very hard to uh, to trade this thing. This thing has been halted. I don't know how many times. Uh, I think it was nine times it was halted yesterday. It's going to be halted tomorrow again. God knows how, no, how many times. Um, it's just a very hard trade right now. Um, the premiums are here are ridiculous. Uh, anyone buying options here, I think, uh, will just lose. That's just my opinion. Um, they're overpriced. Uh, look at these expected moves. Uh, in February 19th, with 24 days left, $188 move, up or down. $289 dollar move up or down 52 days out i'm a trader i trade and i trade everything but i haven't even touched this but the thing the reason i haven't touched it was or haven't is because i already have positions in here i when when gamestop was at 35 dollars i was like what's going on here GameStop $35 this is overpriced and then all this nonsense happened um, I, I have I have calendar spreads here I'll show you my positions that I have in here I didn't put any new trades on I did this when it didn't have any IV at all I can close on my calendar spread and make money on it. but look I have a 13 put so you can laugh Okay, in February, 24 days out, I have a 13 put, and it's still worth 40, 45 cents. That's crazy. Crazy. We'll go, I'll go into my orders to see how much I paid for it. To be, I'm curious. And then I have, I did a calendar when it was at 35. I said, well, let me do a calendar spread at 25. So I sold the 25 in in February, but I have the 25 in March. So let me let me go to my orders and see. I'm just curious on this GameStop situation. Filter. I'm gonna pull up GameStop. GameStop and uh, I don't know if it was 30 days. Let's try 30 days. Because I did it when it was at... Oh, here's one. Okay, so this is what I paid for. I paid $1.25 for the 25 put calendar spread. Let's try and sell it. See what I can get for it. Opposite order. I get the mid price is a dollar seventy five right now. A dollar seventy five. So I'm I'm up. The stock is at two hundred and something dollars and I'm up on a twenty five dollar calendar spread. That's funny. That is hilarious. Super funny. Whatever. I, I'm not gonna do anything. I'll I'll just leave it there. Maybe uh Maybe it comes down to earth. Let, let me let me check out the how much I paid for the thirteen. That must have been a little bit further out. Let's customize this and go back one month. Should be there. I see. All right, let me see. Maybe it's this one. Here it is. I paid seventy five cents. Seven, so so I have two. I have two of the thirteen puts. Let me see. I paid seventy five cents for it, and it's worth. Go to GameStop. Right here. It's worth forty five. Forty five cents. That's funny. I have two of those. Those are lotto tickets, man. They're just lotto tickets. 
Expect to move $188. Imagine imagine GameStop came crashing down back to $10. Oh, my God. That would be hilarious. But, um, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. Anyways, guys, be careful in here. Um, if you, you know, I, I would, I mean, the, the, the puts are, are very expensive. I mean, you want to buy a put here, look at this. A 30 put is $5. I mean, and the stock is at $210. I mean, just be careful. The premiums are very, very, very high here. So, um, and you, and, and I don't, I don't know if you can, I don't even know. Yeah, I guess you can do, uh, I wonder what, um, I, I, I guess you could try and do a call credit spread, but I wouldn't even do that because I'm sure that they, uh, they're assigning see what happens is let's say you sell a call credit spread right that's a, a bearish trade so let's say for example i'll give you an example the guys the, the guys that say in february that sold uh let's let's move up the chain how high does it go it goes to 195 200 so let's say the guy that sold this is what's happening here so you know that's why you gotta stay away from the call side. If you saw a 195, 200, let's say you saw a 195 and you buy the 200 for protection, right? What happens is they assign you the stock and then the, uh, the broker calls you and says, hey, we need those shares back and you have to close your position. It's happened to me a thousand times on these hard to borrow stocks or stocks that have short high short interest they get you that way so you can't do anything on the call side on a bearish trade and the puts are super expensive so i mean it's up to you i i have a position on because i got in it before all before this before this madness i haven't even touched it and i look for high iv and I haven't even messed with this thing, um, but whatever, it's it's fun. It, it reminds me of I've I've lived through a couple of these. I Tell Ray did this once. It was pretty funny. I, I can't remember how high it went, but Tell Ray went up to I want to say it was over two hundred, and Tell Ray was at five dollars the other day. Tell Ray uh, Dry Ships did it one time. Now I don't know if Dry, dry Ships had options. But dry ships went up one time like that. It's a tulip mania. Tulip mania. That's what it is. But anyways, man, God bless the people that have made money in here. Maybe my little lottos will pay me off for, for doing a, a crappy calendar spread um, that I did a while back. When did I do these trades? Let's see. These are some other ones I did, but this one was on... December 21st and the other one was on January 13th when GameStop was like at 35 and then it went crazy well anyways be careful in here guys at GameStop and uh, I wish you luck on this uh, crazy stock peace